सो हेलो यूट्यूब वी आर एट लटियंस मोटर आर्ड लटियंस लुटियंस जो भी है एंड वहाँ अभिन अभिन अभि अभिमन्यु एंड टू सिक सबसे पहले मैं बोलूँगा अच्छा 730 किलोमीटर चला के आए इस आदमी से मिलने के लिए बंधन तो प्यार का बंधन है जन्म से दो घंटे बाद का सारा खर्चा जोहेर अहमद का घंटा <laughs> That's Abhimanyu and that's Shivam Hoonigan Motorsports. So I just attended the launch event yesterday. I'll just stop by for a small test drive at the showroom. So yeah, this is just gonna be a very basic first impressions of both the G310R and the GS. So as usual, all the technical specifications for the G310R are gonna be displayed on the screen as we speak because I'm too lazy to memorize. And moreover. Uh, I have a very bad, uh, you know, viral infection. मौसम के चेंज की वजह से I must say लोग अंदर दिल्ली की सर्दी बोलते हैं लेकिन यहाँ तो गर्मी पड़ रही। So yeah, because of that, I have viral fever and complete nose blockage. So I sound a bit weird, but yeah. Coming on to the bike. Now this is going to be too short of a test drive to, you know, actually say a lot about the motorcycle. But yes, I have ridden the RR310. TBS RR310, as you all know, they have the same engine, the same BHP, or roughly 34 BHP, and roughly the same amount of 28 Newton meter of torque. Right. But yeah, this bike feels a lot more refined and smoother uh, than the RR310, and we're going to be doing a separate comparison of the bo of both of them uh, in some other video when we get this bike in Hyderabad, probably. But yeah, abhi itna main bol sakta hoon ke. काफी रिफाइंड इंजन इट डज साउंड अ लिटिल बिट लाइक द के टी एम इंजन एंड वॉट अ वियर्ड फैक्ट अबाउट दिस इंजन इज द एग्जॉस्ट इज एट द बैक ऑफ द सिलेंडर हेड एंड द इनटेक इज एट द फ्रंट सो दैट इज समथिंग डिफरेंट एंड वियर्ड अबाउट दिस मोटरसाइकिल डज फील वेरी लाइट वेट एंड यू नो वीली फ्रेंडली नॉट गर पॉप एनी वीलीज बिकॉज आई डोट वॉन्ट बी अपसेरिंग एनी बडी But yeah, the engine does feel very refined when compared to the RR310 or the Duke 390, though of course. Power delivery is also quite uh, smooth and relaxed, I'd say. You know, not that harsh and the bit chichori ni. It feels very smooth and comfortable for cruising. Even the gear ratios are nice. The gear may be acha nikal jari. So the biggest problem I had with this bike when it was launched. Apart from the pricing, of course, it's a BMW product, so उतने पैसे तो देना ही पड़ता है जैसे टू पॉइंट नाइन नाइन लैक्स एक्स शोरूम एंड 
3.49 lakhs X showroom very smooth braking is got ABS I think which is more than enough uske alawa wheelie control ye ho ki to zarurat nahi rehti isme it's quite uh, decent and comfortable and quality bhi okayish uh, switch gear I think is the same from the RR310 not that fancy but yeah they could have done something better for the price so yeah the biggest problem which I had was okay, these two bikes were powered by a single cylinder now I know and I do understand that manufacturers do this to, for cost cutting and all uh, that purposes but I still feel ke zarra agar you know thoda different engine configuration agar dete the boxer to of course zyada mahenga ho jata but something different maybe a, you know BMW doesn't do V twins actually but anything anything new from their side because they never did single cylinders as well kuch to different rehna tha because the main thing the sound does rev up and down pretty fast but yeah the same engine mein se zara halki tapity noise hai and over a period of time we'll know how the quality and all is the forks and the brakes and equipment is of very good quality on this bike and even the gauge cluster is pretty nice and then of course you get the BMW badge when you're riding so all in all compared to the Duke 390 yes slightly underpowered slightly and not as aggressive but yeah overall the tires are quite grippy uh, the suspension is nice and the pickup is more than enough for city and little bit of the highway the power delivery is very smooth brakes are good but the only problem which you're gonna be having with both the bikes I think that's gonna be pricing I don't know how well the people are gonna you know how receptive they're gonna be to the pricing and of course the servicing because it's gonna be the same way as thousand West thousand short rata for people in Hyderabad Bangalore is the only option wahan se engineer ko bulana hai wahan leke jana service karne ke liye so yeah ek ye segment ki gaadi leke wo servicing ki bhagam bhag and costs are gonna be a bit high so that's about it for the G310 so test riding both the G310 R and the G310 GS for you guys let's move on to the G310 GS which is again slightly a bit taller and the suspension has got more travel blah 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 there's a luggage carrier here all that and of course it is quite a bit taller than the R <laughs> Uh, refined and you know for a single cylinder it's quite refined wonder what an exhaust is gonna do to this <laughs> but yeah this bike is so much more comfortable of course the foot pegs could have been a bit more wider they're a bit narrow for my liking but the overall sitting posture is very very comfortable yes it does doesn't even feel that heavy it's very lightweight and maneuverable but yeah the display and all is the same from the R but the advantage of a GS is gonna be customizability the showroom and of course there will there are gonna be a lot of aftermarket options for stuff like you know luggage carriers and aftermarket 12 volt sockets and blah 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 so this is gonna be a very you know Ladakh jane walong ki favorite gaadi rehne wali hai for this price uh, it's gonna be roughly 4 lakhs on road again a bit too much but then again it's got the next uh, competitor is gonna be the it's gonna be the versus 300 and the Duke 390 adventure we're gonna see when that comes out but yeah all in all same as that bike even though there's a lot of fairing and all but it's quite refined and quite maneuverable for an adventure bike I do wish it got a little bit more equipment here like a different instrument cluster or maybe something more informative this is a big place and I guess we're gonna upgrade the 
visor also with an aftermarket one but yeah extremely maneuverable and the long travel suspension is just beautiful so about the competition jab aayega jab dekhenge but overall yeah about the bikes yes bmw could have been a little more you know conservative when it came to pricing but then uh, they also have a point uh, utta bhi agar kam price rakhe to you know uh, it's not going to be a premium product anymore the kind of uh, customer base they are trying to target that's not going to happen yeah it does have a gear indicator a big gear indicator which is lovely and very infirm क्या है यार यहाँ दिल्ली में जैसा बोले सा चला रहे यार वहाँ का फाइट समझ में नहीं आ रहा है देखो पीकू वाला बोल रहे हैं इधर खाली ब्रेक्स आर सो नाइस द सस्पेंशन था पूरी गाड़ी पुडुंग बैठ के उठरी वहाँ की किरकिरी यार वो सो फॉकिंग हॉट सो फॉकिंग हॉट That thing's gonna be a wheelie monster. Alki pulki must have one. This yeah, for a lot of Ladakh goers and all, it's gonna be a lovely choice. Pure aftermarket. You will have a Kirak one. So the only thing you're gonna have to live with is uh, the single cylinder engine and of course the service costs and availability. So yeah, that's about it for my short test drive of the G310R and G310GS. Hopefully. By the the time I upload this video, आज तो 19th है. This one day after the launch, I think I'm gonna do be the only one to have test ridden. So yeah, thank you for watching. And I generally do not do sub, you know, 500 cc motorcycles, but this something special and different. Hopefully, we'll be doing a full review soon. how they made the engine so smooth i mean this thing is designed by bmw but yeah manufactured and for about design is being taken from tvs as well as you know tvs is not really known for its uh, refinement but still they managed to do a pretty pretty good job we'll just see how this thing fares out in the long run just hope it keeps up the name of its bmw you know keeps up its bmw name tag let's give you a small view of the front end of this motorcycle pretty sweet so yeah thank you for watching and bye bye